Hello friends, today I've come with another recipe, steamed salmon and vegetables. I have tried this recipe for the first time in my kitchen and believe me, it turned out so well that my kids and my husband, they just loved it so much. And I'm so happy to share this recipe with my viewers. To begin with, I have taken few vegetables. You can take any vegetable of your choice and chop them accordingly. I have taken some cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, mushrooms. Here I am chopping some coriander leaves. It has to be finely chopped. I have cut some mushrooms here. Now these ingredients are for the marination. This is coriander, some spring onions, one tablespoon of chopped ginger, two tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of soya sauce, one tablespoon of garlic, two teaspoons of chili sauce and I have taken 500 grams of salmon fish. To this you can add vegetable of your choice. I have taken carrot and even asparagus as well. A bowl of cauliflower a bowl of cabbage, a bowl of broccoli, and some mushrooms. There are no hard and fast rules. You are free to choose any vegetables of your choice and the quantity as desired. Now let's begin with the marination. Here I'm adding one tablespoon of soya sauce, two tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of chopped garlic, one heaped tablespoon of ginger. It has to be finely chopped. 2 teaspoons of chili sauce for the spice, 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Now we are finally adding the chopped coriander and the spring onions. We are going to mix the ingredients well. Now you can add the salmon pieces one by one. Be gentle when you are marinating it. After marinating, we are going to refrigerate the salmon for about half an hour so that the flavor of the sauces gets deep into the fish. Now I am ready to cook it in my 3 tire black and decker. If you want to see how this operates you can watch my previous video. I had made a dish on chicken and steamed vegetables. So if you want to check out that video you can see it in my description box where I have given you a detailed description about the black and decker steamer. Now we are layering the fish. After we have layered the fish, we are layering the vegetables. Now 
Now to the final layer, I'm adding the asparagus and some cabbage. Now my steamer is all set to cook. Now I'm setting the time until 20 minutes. I would recommend don't exceed uh, the cooking of the fish beyond 20 minutes but if for the vegetables you can exceed your time more than 20 minutes you can exceed to another 10 minutes approximately uh, uh, 25 to 30 minutes of cooking only for the vegetables if you want it more soft we liked it crunchy so we had taken the vegetables out in 20 minutes that again depends on your preference but i would recommend that the fish do not cook beyond 20 minutes 20 minutes is well done can you see the vegetables they are so colorful with all its nutrients and minerals intact And this recipe had turned out so well my friends I would recommend each one of you to try this out it is healthy as well as tasty bye I will see you soon with another recipe now it's time for me to enjoy this with my family bye for now If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to get notified whenever we post a new video. Bye!